you have on a trust <laughs> and what are the advantages of establishing a trust? Yeah, so a common misconception is that when all your stuff is in a will, in the absence of trust, that mm -hmm. you do not have to pay probate costs. Yes. You do have to pay probate fees if your if your money is just in a will and it's not in the trust. So a trust, the primary reason is one, avoid probate. Okay. Um, two, it's also to keep your money and your investments and your assets private, okay. so that the public can't see what you had, which is the part of the probate mm -hmm. process. Yeah. Um, those are the two big reasons why people well, have trust. And there's all kinds of trust, right? You have the revocable and irrevocable trust. Exactly. So, right. and we're not going to get so technical about that, but just briefly talk about the revocable trust, which is like a living trust. Exactly. A revocable living trust that says, I want to put all my money inside this trust so that it's going to go to the right people mm -hmm. at the right timing, as I stipulate. But I also have the ability to take funds out the trust if I want to or just switch the funds around because they're too revocable. I can change it. An irrevocable trust is stipulated so that once you put money into that trust, you cannot pull it out. It is irrevocable. And you can't change some of the provisions on mm -hmm. that. Um, now you can technically get out of irrevocable trust, um, <laughs> but that's that's a, yeah. that's a further conversation. If you need to talk about that, we can talk on that on a one-on-one -on -one basis. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly, because it's outside the scope of this interview. So, okay, so we've talked about estate planning and we're going to get back into talking about real wealth. Okay. But before we go there, Let's just talk about something that actually makes your estate grow. How do you grow wealth or how do you build wealth? Yeah, I mean, there's there's a million ways to skin a cat. There mm -hmm. are, everyone has built their wealth in different ways, right? You know, usually it's due to somebody's primary occupation. Okay. You know, they made a good salary, okay. they had a good business and sold it, and they took the proceeds and invested it. Okay. Now, there's different ways you can invest your money. It can be in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or traditional type of investments. It can also be in real estate, real estate or right. in or in or in other businesses and other companies. And okay. then allow yourself to get money out. You know, once the, certain liquidity events happen. So there are a lot of ways mm -hmm. to build wealth. It's all about you know once you have capital and once mm -hmm. you're leveraging your talent to bring in money that you're keeping that money in a vehicle that you can trust and that's going to grow over time. That's right.